Oh, Aries, what's going on? Hey, Aries, I got messages for you. These messages may or may not resonate. I had to change my clothes. Listen, you see that sun? Aries, okay, had to get kissed by the sun, okay? So I got messages for you, Aries. You are the last Mohican, the last video of the day that I'm going to be doing. So let's see what's going to come out for you. I just love how that sun is looking right up here on me. Hopefully, I'm kind of like blinded by it a little bit, but it's going to help me channel. It's going to help that third eye. So let's go, Aries. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors of my highest good. Allow me to channel for Aries, sun, moon, rise, and Venus in the north node. Ooh. Okay, Aries, what's the what's the most important messages here for my Aries? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Protect me as I channel the messages here for Aries. Any and all negativity sent to me shall be returned to you instantly. If you're attacking my collective, cross watchers, whoever type of watchers trying to attack me or my collective 111 because we tapped in, we're going to return that energy right back to you. And may you feel it instantly, okay? Oh, public image, fierce temper. Somebody is mad, okay? They're, they're mad about their image, or this could be a gold digger with a fierce temper that has many, a lot of angry, anger issues. <laughs> they're worried about, yeah, this person can't relax. This is something here when it, does, when it has to do with their public image here, okay, Aries? In it for what they can get. Money hungry, self-serving. Okay. You're dealing with a fierce-tempered individual. It takes two. Someone is not committed, incompatible, conflicted. Mirror. Reflects your own issues. Like attracts like. So if you are a gold digger, you're going to attract a gold digger. If, you, if you're if talking about your money all the time, you're going to get with someone that's on that same type of time. Yeah, toxic, destructive relationship, manipulative, gaslighting. Okay, Aries. Oh, God. I'm here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, y'all, but this song. Worried about appearances, can't relax, conceited. Somebody's obsessing over their appearance or how the world is viewing them, how the world is looking at them. Who cares, okay? I just feel like this. Don't nobody know shit about shit, okay? Who gives a fuck about what people view you? That's why they over there, you here. Can't nobody tell you shit about yourself. Okay? That's how I feel. Can't nobody tell me shit about me. Because I know I went in and I did the shadow work and I faced my own demons. So I wish, I wish a motherfucker would tell me about me. But somebody's dealing with a whore. <laughs> a queen of wands in reverse. That could be trying to steal something from you, Aries. Yeah. This could be a jealous person that's trying to steal something or when it comes to like your image here. I'm picking up like the six of wands, like public recognition here. Yeah, what's the public image for a pentacle? Somebody's holding on to something here. It could be a group. <sighs> I feel like this group could be holding on for their life, bitch. These, this group of unskilled motherfuckers. They could be holding on to some type of image here or yeah, I, I just feel like... I don't know, man. They're trying to control something here. Yeah, the strength and the king of swords. Somebody's trying to con control something from coming out. But with the tower card here, I feel like it's already exposed or something is already out. Okay, I feel like somebody can't relax because it's just not working no more. Whatever they were trying to keep and secure and hold, it's just it's not happening. What's the four of wands? I mean, damn, not four of wands. What's the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles? So, yeah, we got the hermit. Somebody has been trying to keep something hidden. Okay. So it was so it wouldn't get out into the public. Nine of swords. I just feel like this. We all have did things that we have not been pleased about. Okay. Ain't nobody just no perfect, you know. We not perfect. And this kind of irritates me. When people feel like I'm hearing that song, do anything for cloud ass motherfucker, okay, to try to like ruin someone. I don't know. Okay, let me just turn this up a little bit because that that sun is going behind the um 
is going behind the, uh, the clouds. But I feel like there could be somebody's image here under investigation or somebody's like they're they're ghost in the situation, they're leaving this work dynamic to like actually like seek some type of like spiritual spiritual enlightenment, trying to go within. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Capricorn here. What's this term in here? Somebody here is investigating, they're trying to find the truth. Yeah, about this king of wands, a Leo or a fire sign. Somebody's trying to find the truth about this this king of wands here. This um about what this person did. What's this King of Wands doing with the Hermit here? Oh, why does Leo left? Okay, we got the Page of Cups. I'm getting... Okay, so either this King of Wands wants to apologize to you, Aries... Somebody's trying to see if this King of Wands likes you. Or if they're going to give you some type of opportunity here. 616 on the clock. We got the Page of Cups. The King of Wands could be taking action towards you. Or this person could be, this could be like Virgo, Leo. Uh, Virgo, Leo. Did I say it right, y'all? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Virgo, Leo or Leo, Virgo? Which come first? Is it Leo? Leo come before Virgo, right? So Leo, Virgo. Yeah, Leo, Virgo. This person may be wanting to take... Uh, come and apologize about something that they did to your public image or i mean maybe this person was trying to like ruin you or or do some shit like that this could be a leo or virgo or somebody here what's the page of cups when i want to come and apologize here aries yeah we got the cherry they want to move forward in this connection with the two of cups they want to partner up here for some of you somebody partnered up with the police unbeknownst to you behind your back somebody partnered up with the police behind your back aries and they want to come and apologize to you because something, when it comes to your public image, something is just, it's just not working. 7.15 on the clock. It's just not working. We got the justice card here, Aries. Wow. I just really got like a. Wow. Aries, if you was, if you was like. That's some hoe ass shit. Anyway. Okay, so yeah, we got fierce temper. Has too many anger issues. Dark dark moods. Abusive here. Yeah, we got the ace of wands. This is like when someone like... Somebody here could be like um, sexually abusing someone. Somebody wants to start a new passionate beginning with you just to be abusive. Yeah, so it's like somebody wants to sexually abuse you. What type of shit is this? I'm, I'm picking up somebody's like, well, yeah, I know why. I know why you you so mad or you you having a temper tantrum. You need some dick or something like that, Aries. Somebody say you need some dick or somebody says you need some pussy. That's why you that's why you so angry or that's why you 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 have anger issues or I don't know. It's like somebody wants to sexually like assault you or what the fuck is this man i know how to calm your temper down or whatever like you just you need some what's the ace of wands yeah, the devil like i said sex addiction somebody's like lusting after you they're very codependent on your your sacral energy aries whoever this is that's mad Okay, they're addicted to it, or somebody's addicted to your wand. They addicted. They're addicted to your dick, your penis, or they like. They like your. They like your dick. The the, the ace of wands is dick. They like the way your dick feels. Nine one nine on the clock. It could be a Capricorn, or this person's obsessing over your shit. They're they're lusting after it. It's like. This person has attached themselves to your sh uh your sacral. And yeah, as I'm looking at it, we got the devil, the ace of wands, somebody Aries. If you were dealing with a Capricorn, they attached themselves to your sacral chakra. They did sex magic on you. This is why you this is why you probably feel like you can't like let go of this person because they attached themselves to your sacral chakra. I'm trying to tell you the strength card. Yeah. It's all a thing, it's it's all control here. Yep. 
somebody wanted to control you what's the devil either somebody has a sex addiction or somebody wanted to control you all through the sacral though so if you a masculine aries and you don't know about that you don't know about sex magic you need to do your research somebody has energetically created a tie with you from having sex with you so this is why you're always angry this is why you're always like hot tempered and you mad you lashing out because you have too many soul attachments you have to cleanse yourself. You have to do a lot of cleansing. I'm talking about either, I'm hearing something about fasting as well. So either you may have to fast. I'm hearing something about 40 days, okay? And you have to cleanse, spiritual baths, okay? Or you have to go to a river. Yeah, four swords. You have to go to like a, a, a river to cleanse your energy from this, this. This is like a very lustful energy that likes to keep you in in your shadow side and it's like they like sex abuse this is like somebody here i ain't gonna say shit 11 11 on the clock somebody like being choked the fuck up like you know this is like kind of um them kind of like um <laughs> they be like choke me hold on wait like what? aries i'm not yes can i come in no ma'am i'm working what is it? What you want? You want something? Okay. So that was, my, this is like one of them. And they do this too. Like when you sleep, this is someone here that unzip your pants. They'll start you. It, can you, while you sleep, like the four of swords, somebody would literally like take your shit while you're resting. They were like, yep. You know what? Zip, zip. And just, you know, they literally do that, okay? I don't know. This is, like, crazy. You know, like, that movie, uh, what's it called? Scary movie? When when he was the ghost lady, she was like, fuck me, fuck me. Like, I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want my kids to hear it. But it was a ghost that was messing around with her at 1222, but the ghost gave him crabs or something like that. He didn't want to mess with the ghost no more. The bitch was toxic. She didn't gave that man crab. So I don't know. This may have to do with like somebody's mad because they possibly caught something from this person. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. I'm trying to tell y'all. I do not be lying in these readings. I'm going to be going about how I'm feeling. And it's like I don't be trying to like be mean or anything like that. But maybe you got mental clarity, Aries, about this this person and how they trying to attach themselves to you through their sacral energy through the sacral energies that is that's how you you know what i mean that's how you intertwine with a person so like you know how they have like yoni steams for um you can do like a phallus uh a phallus steam for a man like they got yoni steams you can do a phallus steam i'm gonna i got some yoni steams right over here like but yeah, but I feel like you could be getting mental clarity here of about something. What's Ace of Swords? So you could be having a breakthrough right now. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You could be paying someone here for the truth, or um, you could be supporting someone. Okay, you this could be like a payout coming towards you. This is going to help you start. Okay, the Aces are, is all about new beginnings. So either you could be you could be going on. You could um have some. Okay, let me calm down. You could have mental clarity here about this new beginning or you could have you, you have you may have like a new idea on how to balance something or how to be more fair what's the six of pentacles ace of swords what is this about okay we got the knight of cups in reverse oh shit aries what's up yeah, either somebody here is trying to manipulate you to get you to pay them, Aries, or that's what this is. They're disappointed. Whoever this is, they're jealous and unreliable. Somebody's trying to manipulate you to get you to pay for something, or they're trying to love bomb you to get you to give to them or be generous or share or give me gifts, Aries. I feel like you already called that shit out. You broke free with the full car. Yeah. It's like somebody's trying to attach themselves sexually so that way they can give to you. Like, I mean, so that you can give to them. So it's like, I want you to be digmatized. I want you to be this so that way I can I can take from you. This person, is it could be coming to love bomb you here. 
They don't know themselves, okay? They have a false sense of identity. They're, they're moody, unreliable, they're jealous, disappointing. Yeah, they think they can they think that they got power over you. It's hard to manipulate you, Aries. Ten of Wands and a magician. You ain't falling for that. It, it, you ain't falling for that. I feel like you done dealt with this person already. Yeah, the, <laughs> but it's easy to manipulate them hoes. Queen of Wands in reverse. <laughs> It's like somebody can't manipulate you, but yeah, with them hoes, it's easily to manipulate them because they suffer from a low self-esteem or they're jealous or they always want to be in this position where it's like, I can win. I'm going to win. I ha, you lose. Guess what? I got this person. You don't have them. Five of cups. And then we'll look at them. Still in grief. Still lost. Still in despair. What's the five of cups for Aries, man? Two of swords because they should have made a decision or... Either someone took too long with the decision or they were stuck between two individuals. So you gave up. Seven of Wands. You ain't got time for that. It, what, give me It Takes Two for Aries. Yeah, the lovers. Incompatible, conflicted. Somebody has a major choice. I feel like you are this person's wish. But something here is karmic. I don't know. Why did this lovers come up? This could be a Gemini. Okay, the five of pentacles. Ooh, child. Aries, what is this? Five of pentacles and the lovers. This could be a couple that's sick. What's the five of pentacles? Ooh, shit. The moon card. Child, we got the queen of pentacles, the king of cups, the sun card. Something here is coming out to light about this sick couple. This could be a same sex here that's both sick. Or somebody's hiding a sickness here. This is or or whoever this is, they're bankrupt. Somebody here is keeping some type of sickness to themselves, bruh. And I feel like they got this shit from Aries. I don't know, like whoever you sleeping with, go get checked, bruh. Go get a blood test. They got HIV tests, HIV kits. You can order them bitches from Amazon. You sure can. You can order an HIV kit from Amazon. I'm trying to tell you. They like $30. You sure can. And all you got to do is like you got to swab your mouth at the front and the bottom. And you, you take it. Uh, it's like a little liquid. They actually show you what to do. Because it don't take long for you to get your, you know, for you to get your test. But you could do it at home if you don't. I don't know. Somebody's sick, bruh. The devil, the five of pentacles. I don't know why I'm picking up I'm picking up the three letter word, but I don't know why I'm picking that shit up. And they got it from the same sex, man. Why am I picking this up? Give me the I don't even I don't yeah, something here is destructive. What's the toxic here? I don't yeah, we got the Empress. Okay, so so a Libra could be gaslighting you, or this Empress could be gaslighting you, or whatever, or somebody, or this this could be women that's gaslighting you, Aries, or something here is just destructive, this toxic here, with the mother of your kids, or with this energy here, yeah, they're manipulating you. This Empress is gaslighting the fuck out your ass. Give me the Empress. Maybe you know it and you cut them off. I don't know. What's this Empress energy? Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. <sighs> so this could be someone that's a, a student, a scholar. Okay. It's like somebody here is a page. You could be, you could, okay, what's, what's, what's these two? Six of swords. It's like they're coming towards you with the fuck shit. Somebody could be traveling towards you. Yeah, um. Or maybe you being guided to move away from a situation. Because of somebody, like, their toxic ways. 
maybe you're being guided from your ancestors to end something with this person or this whoever this is they could be pregnant okay I'm getting also somebody here could be traveling with their son. Yeah, we got the six of swords or you're traveling to, I don't know. It's, it's two people in this boat. What's the king of swords doing? Are you the king of swords, Aries? Or are you the empress? Or your son could be trying to gaslight you. I'm, I'm here. Or your son, yeah, the ten of pentacles. Okay, so you're talking about the business, establishing something or building some type of longevity, long-term success. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. But something here is, is, is toxic. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Uh, the Queen of Swords. So I don't know, Aries. I don't know what's going on. What is this Queen of Swords saying? Whoever this is, they put up some type of boundaries here. We got the King of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Temperance. I don't know, Aries. Maybe somebody has a new idea to like when it comes to like approaching you with something. I don't know. But I'm getting whoever this is like, I don't know. You could be cutting off like a, a, a toxic mother figure or a toxic baby mama. Or you could be cutting off some this person that's like trying to like manipulate you, gaslight you. Maybe it's like a lot of women that's trying to do this. Gaslight you, manipulate you somehow. Who is in this toxic energy, gaslighting and manipulative? Yeah, we got the devil. And it's like, it, it's underneath this, this empress energy. <laughs> Give me this empress energy. Yeah, look. Damn. This is, a, this is somebody here from your past. The six of cups. I don't know. This is somebody that's addicted to some type of, like, destructive behaviors. The devil came out again. Maybe this is a, a mother figure that you got to cut off. And somebody here is addicted with, like, trying to play with you. Maybe you have to be in this King of Swords position here. This could be somebody here in your family that just don't know boundaries. And you may have to set some boundaries with this person, with the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like, yeah, the Queen of Swords is out. So you could be putting your foot down in regards to something, someone, a family, or... When it comes to your success, your stability, I feel like you're protecting what's yours, okay? And there's somebody here in this energy that wants to manipulate you, gaslight you, or whatever. What's this? Yeah, three of wands. They could be doing this at a distance. Because somebody sees a future with you. I'm getting somebody sees a future with you, Aries, and it's like they're trying to like gaslight you at a distance or manipulate you at a distance or or whatever. <clears throat> but I see I feel like you already see this. Look at my throat chakra. They don't want me to say this shit. They don't want me to tell you when it's a toxic feminine that's trying to like manipulate a masculine. I'm going to speak about it because period. I'm going to talk about it. So, yeah. If you are a masculine Aries, there's a there's somebody at a distance that's trying to manipulate you to keep you stuck. They're trying to trap you in a situation here with them, the Eight of Swords. Yep. Entrapment, imprisonment, victim. And then they want to play victim. Oh, I haven't been doing that. What's the Eight of Swords? It's like, damn, like... Who can you trust? Like, yeah, the Seven of Swords, they're trying to steal something. What they trying to steal, Spirit? What they trying to steal? Seven of Swords. What they trying to take? Your energy. I'm trying to tell you. They trying to take your energy so that they can create or, like, they trying to, like, it's like somebody wants to take your sacral energy. Women be using men for sex magic, too. Pay attention. We got the moon. Listen, Aries, Eight of Pentacles, the moon, the emperor. Somebody knows about your potential and they know about your power. So they're trying to take that shit. Can't be giving everybody your wand. I don't give a fuck. Fuck a pretty face and a smile. 2444. Fuck that. You got to you gotta discern these motherfuckers. But I feel like you do a very good job at it with the King of Swords. I feel like you're not slow. You know what's up. 
Yeah, the magician. You know what's going on. You know you got that power. I mean, you got that power over me. My mind. Yeah, somebody's trying to manifest with some type of chaos or some shit to come your way because they're jealous. Somebody's jealous of your confidence. They're jealous of your, your, your ability to be able to manifest. They're jealous of your power, Aries. This could be like competition or people fighting over your power or your, <clears throat> your ability to create. The Ace of Wands, some of y'all create with your own sexual energy. And somebody wants to take that from you. You can create with your own sexual energy. So there's people here that's trying to get tied to you. Okay? So that way y'all can intertwine in some type of spiritual contract. I'm getting that's a hell no. Five of Wands. Yeah, they mad. Give me this Five of Wands. So they're competing. What's the Five of Wands? Yeah, all of them. Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like somebody's hurt by the competition or they're heartbroken because it. I just feel like what the fuck is the point of competing or yeah, we got the Hierophant, we got the Three of Pentacles, this could be an organization, a job, the Six of Pentacles, like people possibly at your job that's competing or who could get the opportunity or whatever, you know, Aries, I'm just getting, it's like they got to team up. To go against you 26 26 they got a team up and they got a it's like it take a whole army to go against little old you groups everybody why don't nobody it's like i don't understand I guess you're not supposed to know that, Aries. You're, you're, you're supposed to be oblivious. You're supposed to be dumb. You know what I mean? Why these people group up and try to attack you. They try to do moon magic, binding work, or whatever this is. You're supposed to be oblivious. You're supposed to be dumb. Yeah. About your journey or about your calling or whatever. Can't nobody tell me shit about my calling, about, me, about my journey. My journey is my journey. I know my journey. I know where I'm supposed to go. My journey is not the same as anybody else's journey. So can't nobody tell me shit about my journey. What's the messages for Aries? Oh, we got, if it's not directed, it's not respected. So yeah, whoever this is, they send it like subliminals or whatever, but it ain't respected. It's not directed. Promotes toxicity, no integrity. Could be a karmic terror reader or whatever. Somebody here don't want no paper trail, black feet, native, black feet. Uh, we got a group of men hating on women. Like I said, if it's not directed, it's not respected, period. We got Capricorn man, California sisters. I'm hearing California girl. Something here about a father. Okay. We got, you're the empress and they're mad. It's nothing wrong with being... What, do you know how many empresses it is out there? 2818. Your BDBM wants you dead. Oh, I, I didn't even know this was here. Aries. Baby daddy, baby mama wants you dead. Aries. Where these cars come from? Damn. Straight up. Y'all know I'm an Aries son, Aries Venus. Baby daddy want me dead. Wow, oh, man, that's crazy. Damn, that's harsh right there. So I'm guessing if it's not directed, it's not respected. Ain't nobody come to you with no, with no direct shit. So fuck them. Inspiring, loving, because you're inspiring, Aries. You're loving, you're caring. Yes, you can be loving. You can be caring. Just because you're Aries, that don't mean that you can't. The fuck? Ah, the police are watching you and believe your story, plus found evidence to support your statement because you are not either being completion and affinity. Somebody here is messy as fuck. Yeah, I feel like your fallen twin flame, they got something to tell you. They want to come and tell you. Yeah. I guess their mama never wanted sons or something like that. We got Archangel Raphael. Healing to people's mind, spirit, body. I feel like, Aries, you are... You could be working with Archangel Raphael. 
helping people to heal their minds, their, their spirit, their body. Something about 999 and number seven here. Solar plexus, cousin. Something here about the UK, black man, Arkansas, Scorpio woman, and cancer sun sign. Okay. Let's clarify why um, I'm hearing that. Ah, these niggas want me dead. Gotta watch my stack. Put prices on my head because I got my shit. I don't play that shit. Something, something, something. Dang, Aries. They want you out of here, bro. Your BDBM. I mean, that's just like... Somebody here been thinking about it, too. They're like, yeah, let me think away so I can knock your ass off. Why? I'm picking up, is, it, is there a group of men that wants to be the empress or... I mean, because that's just not no in, easy energy to be in. The empress. That's a lot of fucking responsibility. I know I earned my motherfucking stripes and I earned my title. And it wasn't fucking easy. What's this? Somebody wants you gone because they sick, Aries. It's like they can't heal or they're they're burdened by some type of illness. So it's like they want you to suffer because they're sick. Yeah. Somebody wants to wants you to sacrifice your journey. Like when I say like your twin flame journey of you, Aries, your twin flame journey of you loving yourself. They want you to sacrifice that. Of you loving yourself. Because they're sick. Feminine, nurturing, compassion, understanding, someone to lean on, looking for comfort, caress, my mother's touch, mommy's issues, motherly support, pregnant. Somebody wants you, to, somebody, they want you to be their mama? Or this is someone here that's sick about their mother passing away. So it's like, yeah, a mother, and then we got the death card. Farewell, endings, breakup, transitioning, transformation, no more second chances. What's dead is dead, end of a cycle. Moving forward with life. And somebody just needs to, it's just over. Somebody has mommy issues, Aries. And I'm getting that, that that has nothing to do with you. What's this? Yeah, gossiping, talking about you. If it lit, if it's not directed, it's not right respected. We got gossiping, talking about others behind their backs, getting updated news on someone, telling the truth about someone, exposing the truth, talking negatively, not confrontational. So I feel like somebody's mad because you exposed the fucking truth. And that's just what it is. If they don't like it, fuck them. Gossip all the fuck they want to. How are you going to... It's like somebody's like mad because you had to recover from a situation. The ten of swords in reverse. You had to recover from all these motherfucking knives and these swords being stuck in your bag. How dare you? Please. You had to recover from that betrayal. And then, and then there's people here that's gossiping about you because you was betrayed and you speak about your shit. Give me this. What is it? Let's see. Mm, the high priestess. Okay. So, so, so. <laughs> yeah. So it could be like another, it could be another high priestess that's like evil lying you or they're offended by you at a distance. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, nine of pentacles, you self-made, Aries. Just period. Who cares? Who cares? You can't care about nobody fucking feelings. It ain't your fault that somebody needed to use their intuition, but they still fell into some bullshit on their own. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They was foolish. What is that? Oh, thrills, continuous cycles, bad decisions, addiction. So it's giving, there's people that's mad because you don't fall into the continuous cycles, but other people do. 
<clears throat> you talk about your your cycles or your, the decisions that you made <clears throat> when it when it possibly when it had to do with lust. And these are other people that are still in these same cycles, greed, doing anything by any means necessary or being inconsiderate. You're not scared to talk about chores, but there's people that can sit up and gossip and talk shit about you behind your back. Or they're trying to get the truth about you behind your back. <sighs> That's why I be saying anybody that be trying to tap into my energy, your chest gonna hurt, baby. Cause that because let me tell you something, how my ancestors ride for me. You're gonna have to look, you're gonna have to recharge yourself, bitch. Because how my ancestors ride for me, they know I don't fuck with nobody for no reason. You got to come to me with some fuck shit. And then at the same time, I'm still not going to expose you. I'm not going to say your name. I ain't going to do none of that because I ain't cut like that. I'm not going to drag another individual, especially not another woman on the internet. I don't do whole shit like that. I'm not going to say no names. I ain't going to do none of that. That's what real bitches do. What's up? Oh, now they want to apologize, Aries, for gossiping about you. Because you have healed that part of you, man. What's the point of going back and forth? Everybody, we we, we all supposed to, This is why people can't stick together, mainly our race. This is exactly why. We can't stick together. It's always some jealousy and shit. Yeah, twin flame. You healed that part of yourself. I feel like your twin flame or whoever this is, they want to heal some type of relationship with y'all. Or with you or, yeah. This person that was arrogant. They was insincere with their actions. So I feel like they, they went within to do some type of introspection or meditation here about y'all's connection or whatever. And they want to apologize. What's this though? It's just like, yeah, a narcissist that loves living that nightlife here. And they, they, they mad at you because they keep chasing thrills. It's your fault. It's your fault. You can have a family with this person. They mad at you because they keep chasing thrills. This is like somebody's addiction is like, man, you are supposed to help me heal. Now it's your fault. I can't stand you. I want you dead, you bitch. Because you were supposed to help me heal my inner childhood wounds. Aries, you were supposed to help me fucking heal my narcissistic ass ways. Right? Everything is always your fault. The independent one. I just feel like fuck everybody. That was your reading, Aries. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you won't miss any of my videos. Bye.